Hey everybody, it's CJ here again with the second developer diary for Simulacra. So let's just jump right in. Alright, so right now what I've been working on for the past couple weeks is trying to improve the player feedback loop. I'm adding more gray block decoration. By that I mean very kind of ugly proxy art that just helps to get a sense of the space and uh, kind of flesh in the world a little bit. And I've also been working on a little bit of refining some of the controls in the gameplay. So for the user interface, uh, and also for uh, some of kind of getting a rough version of what the management system is going to look like, um, I've migrated over some of my assets from the uh, design test. So these are very placeholder. They don't really work right now. Um, the the resources counter, the assignments don't really do anything. You can still choose the, the map that you want to go to, like last time. Um, but a lot of what I've been doing is little things like uh, instead of automatically loading into the map when you leave, now it will ask for your permission, so you have to hit the use command, uh, but we'll also double check things like, I chose the shoreline map, do you want to actually go to the shoreline? Uh, so that if you load in, uh, you know, from a saved game or something like that, um, it will double check your, your selections, so you're not accidentally going to places that you, uh, you don't want to be. Um, I also, you'll, you'll notice some visual differences in the lighting. I'm not super happy with the way that it looks right now, but I've been trying to uh, tune it a little bit better so that performance is, is better because, frankly, before it was pretty terrible. Um, so it's a bit improved now, but uh, not obviously where I want it to be. So let us head out to the, the wilderness map. Uh, so. No huge changes here um, from what you saw previously. A lot of what I've been doing is, uh, frankly, hasn't been in Unreal uh, in terms of modeling, doing things like this is, these are going to be very rough uh, kind of totem poles. So the, uh, the blueprint that I built randomly stacks them in different configurations and rotations and stuff like that. Uh, but right now it's just a, you know, a stack of cylinders. Um, and getting some vegetation and cacti that I didn't have uh, in that'll show. Um, these are uh, <laughs> the, the beautiful red cylinders are explosive barrels that when you cause a little bit of damage to, they'll explode after a bit. You know, nothing super complicated, but hopefully something that you can um, start using uh, to make the gameplay a little bit more interesting. The uh, trigger mines now have a little bit more of an eye-catching um, area of effect. They were kind of hard to see before. Again, very kind of ugly, but just trying to make it a little bit more functional. Uh, other little things like um, uh, toning down the motion blur, which was a little sickening before on this kind of possession mechanic. Um, uh, as a minor update, or actually relatively a major update to the uh, the control scheme, I've actually shifted that possession over. Uh, it used to be on the D-pad, which I wasn't very happy about. Um, I've actually shifted it to the A button and completely removed jumping. Um, my hope is to um, use this dashing as your, your main kind of uh, movement ability. Um, and really kind of capitalize on the possession gameplay. I want that to be really interesting. Um, so yeah, these are the uh, cacti that I mentioned. Uh, this area right here is kind of where I've been testing some of the vegetation, and the camp that we just left is where I've been trying to refine some of the gameplay. Uh, the other areas of the map are very bare bones. Um, but my hope is that as I refine the, uh, the gameplay and get the, the meshes 
to the size and shape that I want them to be, uh, then I'll actually do a full decorative pass and see how it feels in the rest of the map. Um, just trying to be as efficient as possible with my time. So, uh, as I mentioned before with the player feedback, now it doesn't automatically load when you enter these volumes, uh, so you don't accidentally leave the map and return to the base. Um, so as I mentioned before with the uh, the management and, and uh, kind of design layer, um, this is a very placeholder version of what will be uh, your report when you come back that will summarize not only what you did and what you accomplished when you were out in the field, but also some of the things that happened in the base when you were gone, uh, looking very much at, uh, like I mentioned in the, the previous video, games like uh, This War of Mine, XCOM, things like that, uh, to make it uh, kind of a, a living, breathing world. So this actually doesn't do anything, it's mainly a placeholder framework to uh, make sure that I have something to build on as I get those ideas a little bit more refined. So I'm finishing out this, uh, this month's sprint in uh, about a week or two, uh, and the hope at that point is to have most of the meshes uh, gray blocked and in in-game uh, so that I can really start building and playing with them and seeing if they're the right size, if they're uh, informing the gameplay that I want. Uh, so, yeah. Um, as always, please leave feedback not only on, uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm very interested in what you think about the game, but also feel free to uh, leave feedback about these videos. Um, Frankly, I'm not the greatest video editor in the world, but as I learn, I'm hoping to make these a little bit more uh, concise and, um, and clean um, so that the, uh, the information is, is nice and accessible. Um, but if you have any ideas on that front, uh, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, like I mentioned, please download the game and leave me feedback either uh, on the IndieDB page uh, or on the, the blog site or just in the, the comments down below. Um, so I definitely appreciate all of your guys' feedback. Thank you so much for uh, showing an interest in the game. And I will see you again in the next couple weeks. Thanks very much.